Deb. For those of you who don't know, I'm Jenny's mom. Okay, that's it, Justin. No, just kidding. Um, so we are very happy that you all came. We had, this is such a great turnout. We are so happy. And we were in the car yesterday, Cassie and Jenny and I, and we're kind of talking about where people have come from. So besides Indiana, Michigan, and Missouri, I wanted to let you know where people have come from to be here, which is amazing. We have people from Connecticut, Minnesota, the state of Washington, Washington, D.C., North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, West Virginia, Massachusetts, Kentucky, Texas, Illinois, Nebraska, Pennsylvania, Ohio, California, North Carolina, and Colorado. <laughs> Did I miss anybody? Well, I said it, besides Michigan, Indiana, and Missouri. If I didn't, I'm sorry, but yeah, okay. First of all, I want to thank Adam and Jenny for a March 9th wedding because it means we don't miss a weekend at the lake, and that's <laughs> pretty important to us. As everyone knows, uh, we are a big, big lakey family. Um, I don't, Adam, did you read the fine print? There are no returns. So, in case you didn't know, it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> I just want to say, too, Jenny has been so calm, cool, and collected this week that it's been amazing. <laughs> I think I had to offer her alcohol on a couple of occasions, which I used to do when she was younger to calm her down because she gets so hyped up and agitated, but anyway, we've made it. Um, we are so happy to have you in the family, Adam. It's gonna be amazing. We know you have two speeds, slow and slower. And <laughs> Jenny, as, as a, in her role as a project manager, is like, she gets things done, she's task-oriented, she wants things done now. And so, Adam, I think you've probably learned if you wait long enough, she's gonna do it. So, <laughs> that's gonna happen. Um, anyway, I think that I'm going to hand the mic to my son because he's going to supplement what I have said, but really, thanks all for being here, and welcome. This thing works. Hello, everyone. For those who don't know me, I'm Justin, the brother of the bride. Uh, or as I like to call myself, the guy who has officially lost his spot as the favorite child. But let's face it, my sister looks so stunning today that I have to admit she's worthy of stealing the limelight for once. Growing up with her has been like riding a tube behind the speedboat with my Uncle Pat driving blindfolded, full of unexpected twists and occasional screams, but overall exhilarating. She's always been my yin to my yang, the PB to my J, the well, you get the picture. And now, seeing her all grown up and getting married, I can't help but feel a bit nostalgic for the days when I could blame her for all the mischief I got into. The youngest never gets into as much trouble as the older siblings. Adam, you're the brave soul deciding to marry into our family. You're not just marrying my sister, you're signing up for a lifetime supply of inside jokes, impromptu random songs, and debates over who's the favorite child. Hint, it's me. <laughs> just kidding, not really? Good luck, my friend, you'll need it. We're a wacky family. Speaking of wacky, let's talk about our parents for a moment, the real MVPs of today's show. They raised four headstrong kids without losing their minds, at least not completely. <laughs> You're the one that wanted to go by cuckoo, not tutu. That's true. There's a story there. But okay. All right, so mom and dad, a special thank you 
for not just surviving our teenage years, but also for footing the bill for this extravaganza. We owe you one for tonight. All right? Uh, in all seriousness, I couldn't be happier for my sis and her partner in crime. They're like two mismatched puzzle pieces that somehow fit perfectly together. Adam, you look at her like she's the only meme on the internet worth sharing. <laughs> Together, you're a team. She's the taskmaster, and he's, well, late to everything. <laughs> I still stand by the fact that Adam is a great planner. After all, he is marrying Jenny. Adam, I have some advice for you. Jenny always wins at every card game. I'm convinced that she cheats. I bet I've never been able to prove it. Even so, remember, marriage is like a deck of cards. It starts with hearts and diamonds, but sometimes you end up with a club or a spade. Play your cards wisely. All right, thank you everyone for being here to celebrate this unforgettable moment with us. As my sister starts this new chapter in her life, as well as you, Adam, I want to raise a toast to the happy couple. May your marriage be filled with love, laughter, and lots of inside jokes that no one else understands. And remember, no matter what life throws your way, you can always count on each other and me, your trusty brother who will always be here to embarrass you at family gatherings and provide just a touch of sibling rivalry. I'm the best. Cheers. Check, check. Okay. Hey, I'm Mark, and I am the best man. So, Adam and I... <laughs> Adam and I go way back. Back to the womb, almost. In fact, you could say we resemble brothers more than cousins. Uh, we were supposed to be born on the same day. It's true. There are actually photos somewhere of our mothers uh, touching bellies in the summer of 87. Well, Adam wound up being born three weeks early. And as it turns out, that's the only time in Adam's life he's been early for anything. <laughs> Including last night at the rehearsal. <laughs> Adam, we're still waiting for you to find your pants. <laughs> as I said, Adam and I grew up together. Adam, you were my first friend. We used to play together all the time as kids. Our favorite game was Hide from Madeline. <laughs> Our second favorite game was Blame Madeline. Adam always had an intrepid taste for adventure and exploring. Adam was always planning our next adventure and my next injury. In fact, for all of you tonight, I made a list of all the injuries and misfortunes I have suffered while following Adam. <laughs> Concussion from falling off a bunk bed. I'm donating my brain to science. Hypothermia from falling through a frozen creek. Two of Dave's fishing rods snapped in half. Catfish stings from falling in a catfish bed. Leeches removed from my skin road rash from bicycle crashes, sunburn and exposure from climbing sand dunes, and waterboarding on a school trip to the Niagara Falls. I also made a list of Adam's injuries. None. <laughs> and he didn't even get a drop of water on him at the Niagara Falls. Adam, I think you finally found a companion in Jenny who you can take on your adventures and keep up with you who won't get hurt. Jenny, you're an amazing woman. I want to welcome you to the family. Adam, you really couldn't have found someone better, and you really couldn't have drawn this up better, and you're in architecture. That was corny. I'm just going to throw that away. Jenny, you really are kind and thoughtful. I've gotten to know you over the last year, and I can say truthfully, Truthfully, how will you and Adam work together? 
Adam, I do just want to point out, though, that by marrying a woman who works and designing drugs for a big pharmaceutical company, she could poison you and we'll never know. <laughs> so be good to her. You pulled it off, guys. This wedding has come together so well, and I think all of you here in the smiling faces is proof of that. The venue is perfect, the food is delicious, the bartenders are pros, the DJs are the best, and I think we all owe a big thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Beebe for putting on this party tonight. And a, and a big thank you for not listening to Adam's suggestion to serve chicken tenders and cheeseburgers. <laughs> no, I, I can't say this enough. This entire day and wedding experience has been perfect, maybe until this toast, but it's been, it's been really great throughout. And Adam, you did it, buddy. You found somebody that you will love and care for more than your 1995 Ford Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> on that, let's propose a toast. On behalf of all of us, to Adam and Jenny and their union, may it bring a lifetime of happiness and adventure. Salud. Okay. <laughs> I guess we saved the best for last. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I am Cassie. I am the maid of honor and Jenny's older sister. I said it like that because for a lot of years people always thought I was younger. Um, maybe that's because she's wiser and more mature than me. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, so anyway, as many of you know, Jenny is a talented soccer player, and thankfully, throughout most of our life, we got to play on the field together. Um, when we were younger, she would never practice with me or play with me, and when we were even younger, she refused to play Barbies with me, but I had my brother Justin for that. <laughs> <laughs> Got to see where else I was going here. I don't know. Um, as many can attest, you're here today, and you know Jenny, and you know she is a great friend and a great person to have in your corner. Uh, she oftentimes would come to the defense or to protect her older sister. I've loved and cherished our connection on the soccer field and as well as all of our travel that we've done together. We've been to some 20 different countries, maybe, maybe less, maybe more. I didn't count it out. <laughs> I'm looking forward to much more of that in our future. Now, I'm going to give a few words for Adam, and my Uncle Pat already alluded to some of this earlier. His first trip up to the lake, they hit a deer on their way in. Then they decided to put the boat in. I wasn't there for this, for the record. Uh, so I get on my camera, and I see the boat just floating away. Because it wasn't windy on our side of the lake. <laughs> So I get on the speaker and I say, um, hello, family. Are you aware that the boat... You said, you idiot! Oh, yeah, all right, my bad. I was a little less calm and collected, and I said, you idiots, the boat, the boat! So I watch as the three of them, Adam, my mom, and my sister, walk outside and just look like, yep, the boat's picking up speed, <laughs> hands on their hips, they all go back inside. Moments later, Adam surfaces and starts his swim as the boat keeps going further and further away. Uh, so then, <laughs> nobody told him that there's no ladder to get on the boat. It's a pontoon. <laughs> and also, our boats are so fancy, they can only be started by certain, uh, you know, combination of the key and the... Okay, they're just really old and they don't like to start. <laughs> But somehow, as he's about to get to the boat, it's picking up speed. Jenny shows up with her stand-up paddleboard, and now she's freaking out, because he's in the water. It is the beginning of April. The water's like 45 degrees. So she puts the paddleboard in the water and starts going. But they didn't put the fin on the paddleboard. 
So I'm just watching her circle around. <laughs> Uh, so then she gave up on that and stood up on the paddleboard and was yelling at him to get on the boat and how he can start it and get to shore. And it all worked out. But thankfully, our boat didn't wind up on Chamberlain for their Walkwells and Carloses to be like, oh, the BBs. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I guess with that, since I'm the last thing between you guys and dinner, <laughs> um, a toast to the groom. Okay, come on, no Hamilton fans out here? <laughs> All right, another story is when we go around the boat or around the lake on our boat, it's only a three mile lap at Gravel Lake. Sometimes I like to blast Hamilton with Jenny. And that way my dad, wherever he's at on the lake, will know we're going around. He doesn't understand our love of the lake and our love of pontooning because it's just a bunch of left turns. But I know there's a lot of Indy 500 fans here. So they get it. You get it. So anyway, Hamilton fans, I know you're here. When I say to the groom, you say to the groom. Ready? To the groom. To the, groom. To the bride. To the bride. <laughs> all right, well, that's all I got. <laughs> Watch Hamilton, though.